everyone has magic inside them. And what's really wonderful is when the magic happens. I'm going to show you where the magic happened for me. This is our hotel. No, doesn't have round door. No, doesn't have round windows. It's our kind of magic. It's what we created. And that's what makes it magical. In our fairy garden, I made the little teacup and the little donut and a little plate. And I fired them in a fire pit. And I think that's the magic. The magic is that it was made by our own hands, not anyone else's that the magic came directly from within. And as you go inside my hobbit hole, you're gonna see that the magic comes from inside of a lot of people here. Here it is. This is our hobbit hole. This is my favorite part of the hobbit hole. The hat rack. The hat rack is a log we found out on the property after we trimmed the trees. And there is a bucket full of cement with plaster of Paris flowers. And the molds were made by a friend of mine who's a wonderful artist. So I dropped those in the cement and I dropped some rocks in the cement and then I painted it with chalk paint and, and rubbed it with some dark wax. This, I blacksmith myself. One of my first attempts, not perfect. Nothing in here is perfect. It's one of the things that I love. The, the picture here was made by my daughter. And of course I crocheted the doily that it sits on. The bed was made by Mike and I. I did the cross stitch and framed it with old barn wood found here on our property. Here's my first attempt at a willow chair. It is strong enough to sit on. This also is my first attempt at a hutch for the dishes. Not a square corner in it. And I love that. The top, the mosaic was made by my brother 50 years ago or more. And the salt shakers were hand thrown. The candlestick holder was made by my daughter. The candle itself was made by a friend from the wax of his own bees. Down inside here, by the way, this little apple is a piece of, of glass I found on the ground from the 1800s. This place here has dishes. I threw myself on the wheel. They're all just a little different because I'm not an expert but I love each one of them. I love that they were made with my spirit. And I love that everything here has the spirit of the people who've touched them. The fireplace was done stone by stone by myself. Stenciled on the floor, the rug is the wool of pretty and peace, and it's felted. The chairs here are made with no hand tools, with no power tools, only with hand tools by Mike and I. The table is an old apple tree that the beavers chewed down, and we didn't want to lose everything. We didn't want to lose the memory of that tree. There's an old ash tree that got trimmed, and this for me is quite magical. Of course, the handle here is blacksmith by myself. Underneath, we have a tank of water because this sink works. It goes to a little uh, tin cistern down under the ground filled with rocks so that any gray water that goes in there is purified before it leaches into the ground. This was hand thrown and 
course I had to stitch on the towel a little bit just as I had to stitch on the bedspread here and use yarn that was spun from pansy's wool. I love that my hobbit hole is touched by the hands of people I love. That's the magic in it for me. The magic is that we don't need stores or the world to make beautiful things. We have it right in our hearts. We don't need anyone to tell us what's beautiful and what's not beautiful. As long as we are creating, we will reveal the magic within us.